brand as a result of the war on black males. Basically, they lock up the fathers. And then when the boys are maladjusted because you took the father out of their life, they begin to exhibit emotional and behavioral issues. It's not a psychiatric syndrome per se. The issue is the absence of the dad who you have incarcerated. So if you give them their father back, then you preclude the whole ADHD phenomenon. So basically, they're having their cake and eating it too. Having a cake by locking up the father, but eating it too by being able to hustle psychiatric medicine onto the children. Before I go any further, I want to let you know that tomorrow, uh, everyone here is invited to come out to Charles Drew University for the Ebonics Conference, Black Sounds, Black Language. Dr. Ernie Smith, who's the foremost Ebonicist in the country, uh, a true pioneer in that area, it's his conference. And uh, he and myself and some other folks are going to be presenting, so please come out. I'll be speaking immediately after lunch, which will be around 1 o'clock, on the effects of speaking the slave master's language on the psychology of the oppressed. One thing we often underestimate is how the language you speak affects your mindset, your mental state, your identity, as well as your behavior. For those of you who are familiar with the Willie Lynch letter, you know that one of the things recommended therein was making sure that you taught the victim the, your language. Very important that you teach the language because it sets up an identity and it makes you appear that you have something in common with your oppressor, which is why I always say no matter how conscious we become, as long as we continue to speak the oppressor's language, it's going to be very difficult to psychologically reconstruct ourselves because language is key to oppression and language is key to identity. So that's tomorrow, 9 to 5, I speak at 1. And then on Sunday at... Uh, what is it? The Watts Watch Labor and Community Action. Watts Labor and Community Action Center, which is located at what's the street? It's on uh, Central. South, South Central, Central Avenue. Right next to Bourbon Day. Right next to Bourbon Day. High Bourbon Day High School, 12 to 5 on Sunday. And then we're back here Sunday evening at 6.30. And 6.30, uh, I think I'm going to do the uh, Anatomy and Strategy, uh, the 44 Laws of Black Power, which is one of my most uh, popular presentations. I'm going to save that for Sunday at 6.30 here. So make sure you spread the word. We'll be back here at 6.30 here, and then at the WLACS uh, on South Central Ave from 12 to 5 Sunday, and then 6.30 here Sunday, and tomorrow the uh, Ebonics Conference. I want to give you my number because I'm short on business cards, so if you need to text me, Let's say you forget the information for tomorrow or Sunday uh, afternoon or Sunday evening. You can just text me and say, can you send me that information? And my cell number, I only have one number, so you can always get me. It's the only one. 215, area code 215-989-9858. Again, 215-989-9858. Website, drumarjohnson.com. Um, Email address Dr. Umar Johnson at yahoo.com. And also, just to let you guys know, uh, pre orders for my first book, and this is it here The Psychoacademic Holocaust Against Black Boys from Grade School to the Graveyard. Probably going to begin taking pre orders for the book on November the 11th. I wanted the book to be ready. November the 11th, but I didn't quite get enough typing in over the past month. So it'll probably be ready maybe towards the end of November. I wanted it for the 11th in celebration of uh, Reverend Nat Turner. You guys are familiar with him. He led the bloodiest slave revolt in American history. Southampton County, Virginia. I was actually born on the date that the revolution began, August the 21st. Uh, There's going to be a big celebration there for those of you who want to take that trip up. Last day he was alive was November the 10th. So on November the 10th, in Southampton County, Virginia, elder by the name of H. Khalif Khalifa, who actually published Amos Wilson's Developmental Psychology of the Black Child, he owns 100 acres of the estate where the Nat Turner Revolution took place. He does a regular tour there. He has a Nat Turner library there, extensive collection of memorabilia on Nat Turner. And on November the 10th, which was the last day he was alive, because on 11-11, he was hanged. So on November the 10th, there's going to be a large celebration there all day long to include a tour of the grounds. You'll get a chance to see when Nat Turner was born, where he spoke, where he worked, where his wife's cabin was, where he hid out, where he met with Hart Travis 
and his other uh, comrades, ultimately where he was captured and also where he was hung. So you'll get all of that energy. So if anyone's looking for something to do, then uh, come on up to Virginia on November the 10th. So, let me break out of that. You know what I'm going to do? Let me flip. I never know which presentation that I want to do because 